This tutorial will explain the different parts of the calendar tool so you hopefully understand them a little bit better. I'm going to click on the calendar tab on the nav bar. The first part is this top part of the calendar. This is called the calendar views. You can toggle between the different display layouts for events in the calendar content area. So there's various different um, displays and whatever display you choose the next time you come into the calendar it will be stuck on there. So the first one, Agenda View, helps you group your course events by date, course, or category events. And um, so, so they will display in chronological order. So as you can see here, I can look at the date, I can look at a specific course, or I can look at a specific category, for example, whether it's a Dropbox or a quiz, and so on. The Day View will show all the day events displayed at the top of each group listed. So if you have an event that's actually coming due today, that event will show up you know, for the day view. If you look at the week view, the week view um, and month views uh, groups the events in daily, weekly, or monthly increments. So you can see the week view here. If I look at a month view, you can see I can see a whole month in the area and I can navigate between the months and if I mouse over that I can get to see more information or if I click on it I can actually do some more things with that particular event. The list view is an interesting one in that it filters your events by Dropbox, uh, check box, checklists, discussions, grades, materials, modules, quizzes, and surveys. So you can actually filter to see only your Dropboxes or only your checklists or discussions you can clear all the filters. If I want to just look at quizzes, I can look at the quizzes and see what's due. So it really helps to um, the list view in a nice way. Across from that is being a way to be able to print uh, your calendar. You can adjust the, the settings and, and then you can also search for specific events if you want. If I want to look for, for, for example, for quiz one and then click on that, it'll show me quiz one in there and then if I click the X, it'll take that out. So there's going to be tutorials on all one of those. The content area itself is this area right here, and that content area allows you to see what's going on in the, in the course there. Uh, the third one is the calendar menu. This calendar menu um, it lets you select multiple calendars to display. You can change the color scheme associated with the individual calendars and even add new calendars. So this calendar um, view lets you see all the calendars that you are a member of. And if I want to click on one, this lets me see that particular calendar. By default, I'm looking in the calendar that, I'm, that the course I'm in. If I don't want to see a calendar, I can actually take it off of here so I don't have to see it. If I want to show all calendars, I can click on show all calendars and this let me show show me all the calendars and all the stuff that's going on in each calendar. And again, if I then choose to add a calendar, I can go ahead and add one. I'm just going to go ahead and choose that particular calendar. Uh, the mini calendar here, uh, use this to navigate quickly to specific day, week or month. To view a specific day in detail, click on that day. And anything that's got a bold in it means that you have a particular date there. So if I'm looking at that specific day, I can click on that. I can click there. You use the, um, to view a specific week in detail, click on the, the week calendar view. So if I click on the week calendar view and I want to look at this week, it'll show me the whole week. So depending on what view I have here will also depend on this. If I look at the month view, this gives me the whole month. And if I navigate between the months, I click on the little uh, show and previous icons. Finally, there's the task pane. Use the task pane to create, track, and maintain personal tasks. So this is something that I can maintain. I can checkbox that. I can view all tasks. Uh, I can uncheck tasks that I haven't done. I can actually add notes, put due dates for these tasks, uh, see what's completed, and again, uh, view all the tasks. So that is the... 10,000 foot view of the calendar and um, please review the tutorial specific to each one of these areas and you'll get more detail.